made it to the hotel, y'all. I got a story for y'all, but let's get let's get our reaction to the hotel room. Hold on, I gotta get my keys. Oh, this is not. Hold on, let me get my bags. This is nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God, I did that. I did that. Is this free? Nope. Is the water free? Dang, is the coffee free? Ain't nothing free up here. What in the world? Anyway, let's do a tour real quick. You walk in and there's nothing back here, y'all. Just a wall. And this is how the room looks. You have a full body mirror here, which I absolutely love because yeah right next to that look at the little bonsai tree it's so cute and then across from that is the bathroom hold up we're gonna we're gonna get back to that okay so walking in here we have these closets this is nice this is a nice big closet too this is actually pretty big for a new york hotel room which i'm surprised about because it was actually a pretty decent price yeah oh fully stocked come on now come on now Ooh, got a little some something, something okay <laughs> and then right off of that you have this desk area so we have even some more snacks over there little coffee station Ooh, an espresso machine i know how i do it okay some plugs and stuff like that lamp all of that good stuff and then oh it has a drawer which is nice after that the tv but hold on let's go across because straight out of the hallway you have this little nook right here with the couch and to my understanding this pulls out but i'm not sure now let's get into this part so nice big tv it's not really that big but you know she a little something something i love how the whole back is like glossy i love that and then also you have this area right here it's like a bench i guess you can like lay out your stuff there's just so much space in here and then boom the bed there's only one bed it was supposed to be me tia and Jalen, but they didn't come but now i just have this whole room to myself and, and then this is the window over here i absolutely love like the concrete columns all throughout even the ceiling is concrete like floor to ceiling windows this is the view very very nice so yeah that is the room y'all it's so nice like it's actually pretty nice in here and i love like the aesthetic is just everything it's very moody like how i've been lately <laughs> um so it fits perfectly anyway i just came back from this event that it wasn't even an event like if y'all saw my face in the uber i was so irritated because i went to the location on the flyer and i could not find it like i couldn't find it i didn't know what was going on um yeah i don't i have no clue i was walking around like asking people and all of the other um all the other stores and like stuff around it other hotels around and i was like do y'all know where this is and they were like we have never heard of this place i was like you know what mm -mm. we coming we coming to the hotel we just gonna lay down that's what we're gonna do we're gonna regroup because i'm not even gonna lie it kind of irritated me a little rough start but we're here and that's all that matters and we're gonna get the job done we're gonna get fashion week done regardless so <sighs> i think i might like go get something to eat at the restaurant downstairs they have a asian type of restaurant downstairs with sushi and stuff so i may go there so another update mm, 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 mm. i don't know what song i'm singing but the bathroom so i actually opened it myself he called me and kind of walked me through how to open it with like basically pick the lock toilet right here and this is actually really small i thought it was going to be a lot bigger than this but this is the sink area, mirror, and then the shower is here. Let's see what the shower is hitting for. Oh, it's a pretty good size. I ain't mad at it. Okay, this is nice. Yeah, I'm about to go head downstairs because guess who else is staying at this hotel? Another surprise. Actually, I'm gonna just surprise y'all. 
Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Look who I'm with. <laughs> So y'all been waiting on this for a long time, but I've been waiting longer, okay? <laughs> so I'm finally with my girl. We can right head out, y'all. I don't even think I showed the food, y'all, but we just went to the sushi restaurant in the hotel, like I told y'all, and it was actually pretty good. It was very simple. Now we're about to go to Sephora real quick. Cause I really need, um, I left my lip liner and my lip gloss. We're just gonna walk, take a little stroll because the weather isn't too bad right now. <laughs> we, like, think about. All right y'all, we're back and we walked to Sephora. It was actually like, maybe like 10, 12 minutes really. It really was not that far of a walk to Soho which I love because that means this uh, hotel is like in a really good location. I'm staying at 60 Lower East Side, by the way. I will say that um, the attendant at the front, the concierge, sorry, he was telling me that they do have a nightclub in this hotel. So once you check in, just request to be on the other side of the hotel so that you don't hear it, you know, um, and you'll be fine. But I will say, it's New York. You were hearing some sirens right before I got the camera on. There was a fire truck going. Like, you know, it's going to be a little bit annoying. It's not super quiet. It's New York overall, but I like it. It's really nice and it's really, really big. I did do a little order to the hotel. So I don't know if y'all know, but Sephora has same day delivery on the website. So I just ordered it to the hotel and I picked up my regular Holy Grail. Kaja gloss in the shade milk tea and then I also picked up the refi lip sculpt in the shade fawn picked it up just in case I didn't like this one which is the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in the color foxy brown this bag from Amazon is supposed to be like this Bottega dupe I don't know if I showed y'all this yet I'm pretty sure I didn't either in this vlog or the um the prep vlog but y'all I got this bag like I want to say like three months ago I never even opened the package I literally just unboxed it today and I bought it because this girl on TikTok said that it was an exact dupe like she had the real Bottega one and then she also purchased the Amazon one just to compare just to see and she was like she literally cannot tell the difference so I got it and I really like it it just has no structure well, I feel like it's really casual edgy you know I told ain't about to do that every five minutes now. Cause I heard it before, but I didn't know what it was. And I really think it's a toilet. Oh, and also it comes with a little pouch on the inside. So I just would put like my wallet in there. I was actually supposed to do other things today. So I had a cocktail event to go to that I ended up like, not even looking at the time. Me and Brianna were just like talking at dinner, having a good time. And all of a sudden it was like six o'clock and we were like, wait, what? <laughs> so I didn't make it to that. Also there's another, um, I don't want to say a show, but it's like a presentation um, by this black owned designer that also didn't make it too because the time just flew. Like we were just having a good time talking and chatting and stuff like that. Um, and then, yeah, I think those are the only two things that I didn't go to today. Cause I tried to go to the NARS event. Y'all know what happened with that. And I feel like that just kind of set the mood for today. And it was just like, yeah girl just go lay down and start over tomorrow so that's what we're gonna do good morning y'all oh my gosh i slept so good i slept for like 11 hours y'all what time is it it's nine i've been up since like eight o'clock just on my phone on tiktok and stuff today is about to be the absolute most i'm gonna get in the shower go find breakfast and then today is like my busiest day so okay here's what i'm wearing nothing spectacular same bag from amazon the bottega dupe my aritzia leather coat some black leggings black oversized t-shirt and then my um black boots the prada boots y'all be asking about these and i could have sworn like i've been talking about these for a long time but maybe i have like a lot of new followers and stuff so yeah these are my prada boots absolutely love them like the best money i've ever spent I don't want to say in my life because my car was the best money I ever spent. But um, these boots are just 
they're just everything. So yeah, that's my like running to go get breakfast fit. Okay, we're getting ready. I took a shower and everything. I'm just doing my hair and I'm gonna do my makeup after I finish curling my hair and let it cool down and then I'll just like break it out after. Um, I'm using my T3 curling iron. I think this is one and one fourth, I believe. Um, was that a dog? All right, y'all, my camera is dying, but I finished my hair, my makeup, I'm about to get dressed. So I have my other battery charging. So once that charges, we're good to go. All right, here's my outfit. I'm sweating already because it's a little blazing hot in here. But I'm carrying this bag and y'all can see my whole fit. Can y'all see the whole fit? So I have my Gia Borghini boots, which they're actually like knee high boots and then I have them on under these pants and it just feels really weird but anyway I have these pants from the crypt I had to get them like majorly tailored y'all this top is from Amazon this blazer I really don't even remember where this is from like I got this so long ago and then my little gray sweet Joey we're headed to oh, I got you need the vlog ma'am but yeah we're headed to the core house core hydration house and then right after that we're headed to the Sol de Janeiro gifting suite. So that should be fun too. It's like, no, it's not a gifting suite. It's a cocktail event. But I think they're gonna be gifting things, of course, you know. This is a cute little, like on the window sill with the Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So cute in here, y'all. So they encourage you to grab a water that matches your outfit and get some content. So y'all are Say hey girl. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, make sure y'all follow her on YouTube. She says she's like an up and coming YouTuber, so you know you gotta support our girls. So I'll put her stuff down below. Alright, we about to do a taste test. Hold on. Let me open her up. Lemon. What is it? Oh, lemon extract. And then this one is cucumber essence. And the lady said this one tastes like a spa in a bottle. So we're gonna see. All right, ready? This is right. This is good. And I feel like this is like super refreshing too. Like if you're hot, this, I love it. turn these lights on we're back <laughs> and i had a great time did two events i'm actually headed to a show right now but i have to change and i feel like this is what people be talking about when they be like yeah fashion week can get hectic if you if your schedule is like jam-packed so today was definitely a jam-packed day luckily i have these knee highs on under the boots so it helps me get them off easier okay y'all we're getting it done Ooh, I had to change my outfit just a tiny bit. I'm also running on pretty good time. It's 7.05, the show starts at eight, and it's 20 minutes away, so I think I'll be okay. But I got this little necklace from Amazon. It's like a little tennis necklace. Also, this belt is from Amazon too. Y'all remember these? Way back in the day when we really thought we was like emo. <laughs> and we used to wear these on our jeans. Yeah, the bra is Skims. I also put on my, my little um, B6 pasties. There we go. And then my jewelry. I have this. This is not the necklace I wanted to wear, actually. Y'all, I cannot get this necklace on, but I was supposed to wear this necklace right here, also from Amazon. Y'all, I had to Amazon a lot of stuff only because I was running out of time. It's this right here, beautiful. Floral is definitely in, so I thought, you know, this would be cute. And also chokers are in, so this is really supposed to sit like this on your neck. I thought that was so cute. So, I gotta get this necklace off. How cute. I wish my belt wasn't doing the most though, low key, because 
I feel like it takes away from the necklace. I feel like the necklace should be the star. The heels I was gonna wear are these, and I wasn't gonna have this belt on. I was gonna have a turtleneck on, <sighs> but I don't know. Uh, okay, y'all, we're waiting on the show to, I guess the doors to open or something. One of the shows that's in there right now is running a little over, so we're all in line. <laughs> Just waiting. So hopefully, something happens soon. Got it, okay. I don't want him to yell at me, though. Because that, if we're not doing it, I'm going to have an attitude. <laughs> Well, I'm it's right here. I'm gonna bring it up. <laughs> Why, who you yelling at? Cause not me. <laughs> we barely. We barely, barely made it. We <laughs> We're back in the room. I don't know why I look so orange. But it is what it is. We about to go to bed, y'all. I am so tired. Like, I'm just like, look, the night is over. Cut the cameras, I'm tired. Let's talk about tonight. Oh my God, ouch. This right here is a piece, okay? This is beautiful. And I believe, I can't remember the designer, but I think they just like sell their pieces on Amazon. It's not like a... You know what I'm saying? Like like an Amazon piece. You know, y'all feel what I'm saying? Like a little janky one, two to get the job done. This is actually really nice. And I'm gonna get unready as I talk to y'all. So, got to the show. The Uber, first of all, Ubers, baby. Bring your pocketbook because the Ubers, yeah, they've been tearing a hole in my pocket. Girl, we didn't even get in. My friend didn't even get into the show. Listen, if you're trying to get in a show, you better get there early. I'm talking early, especially if you are not like VIP or anything like that. Get there like an hour early, like 45 minutes. And that's why people always be saying like, fashion week is cute and all of that. But baby, wear some flats. Because we was literally standing outside for the longest time. We had wristbands and everything it was just a lot of confusion and also there was a huge crowd of people of a lot of people who didn't have wristbands who were just there to like try to get in so it's hard for the people who actually have you know rsvps and like stuff like that to actually get in because everybody's just rushing the door so we were literally standing outside like trying to get in for like an hour it was crazy okay i got y'all booby trapped so let's pray on them all <laughs> Okay, so what was I saying? Another reason to get there early, to get a seat. If the seats are not assigned. So the show that I'm going to tomorrow, the seats are assigned, luckily. So I know I will have a seat. The only reason I was sitting is because this one lady, she follows me and she let me have her seat because she was working the event. So she wasn't even sitting in it. So she told me I could sit in her seat and I thought it was so sweet. So if you're watching, thank you so much. I really appreciate it because my feet was killing me. <laughs> and yeah, the last thing was the Uber home. He was being extremely weird. So just make sure y'all stay safe in these like new cities, new environments. If you're not from here and you're traveling here just for a fashion week, make sure y'all are head on swivel okay i keep mine on the swivel because i'm from a same type of like environment and city environment so i'm always like boom boom you know but um make sure y'all are just being safe all right let's get into what we got from soul de janeiro so they just dropped their oh my gosh <laughs> first of all they give us full size stuff which i'm just like i love y'all for that like do y'all love me because i can feel it like soul de janeiro if you want to link up call me and this is what they pretty much just launched they were doing lymphatic drainage massages with the oil and one it smells amazing like it smells amazing also De Janeiro products smell amazing but like okay let me tell you something i really liked how it, like my arms are still super like soft my skin is feeling good they also gave us some of their bum bum cream the iconic bum bum cream which i tried before a really long time ago and then this is also the body scrub which i just ran out of my body scrub so again so de janeiro 
I feel like y'all love me. <sighs> I'm about to lay it down. It is 10.30. That's an hour more than I've lasted last night. So, and I'll be honest, I don't think I'm doing any party in this fashion week. Like last fashion week, y'all saw I went out and stuff like that. But I think I'm good. I think I'm okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm actually over going out in general. Like I don't even wanna go out at home. Good morning, y'all. This morning is just not it. Like throw it away and start over i'm supposed to get up super early super early and start getting ready to get content at 10 a.m i overslept real bad why my phone won't turn on what is wrong it won't even like show that oh it needs to be plugged up you know that little icon that pops up when your phone is dead and you hold it down and then like the little charger thing you know, it won't even do that. All right, we look like yesterday, which is good. Um, I just did my hair and everything the same way that I did it yesterday. So I tried this new Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. What is this called? Lip Cheat. Reshape and resize lip liner. Well, I don't need that. I already got big lips. This is in the shade Foxy Brown. Why do I look blue? No clue. But anyway, this thing is dry, okay? The color is spot one to my other lip liner, which is um, Milani Understatement and Salty Toffee. That thing is only like $7. This was almost 30 And it's way better, and it's way more moisturizing. Like, if I go like this, it don't even blend out. Like, I blended this with my finger and the pencil to be 20 something dollars. You should at least be moisturized. Look how dry my lips are. You should at least be moisturizing. You feel me? Like my lips do not look like that. That high price stuff is not always the best. Like Charlotte Tilbury got some fire stuff. Fire. But that lip pencil? I don't know about that. Okay. So I'm going to stick with my little cheap old Milani. All right. So I'm about to put my clothes on and head downstairs. We're supposed to leave at 10. It's like 11 only because my phone still will not charge y'all. Look, I'm on a whole different outlet. Oh, it just came out. A whole different outlet still hasn't turned on i tried it in the bathroom too and it didn't work um oh and even that's a different cord too i brought two different cords the cords don't work so it's definitely my phone okay y'all update we went to the apple store <laughs> we went to the apple store and i asked the guy at the front i said y'all don't have no appointments um so like i don't know if i can get my phone fixed and he's just like um how are you today? And I was like, I'm sad because my phone is not on. He was like, what happens if I cut it on right now? And he hands it to me and it cut on. <laughs> I was like. So he told me, just in case this happens to y'all, what did he say? Up the power up button, power down button, and then press the power button until your phone cuts on. So yeah, phone is on, which is good. But now we're taking pictures. Um, we have our looks on from yesterday and we're just about to take pictures in front of YSL because it's nice and like cream background right here. So yeah, if you're looking to shoot, we're on Green Street. Yeah, we're on Green Street. Uh, Brianna got y'all in a plant. <laughs> and then, it's not like on the ground. Okay, yeah. okay y'all. Y'all are in a plant right now. So I think everyone should know how to do that as a guy. You gotta do what you gotta do. Let me take a picture. back i got some food because i did not eat this morning i know chick-fil-a you got a girl really okay y'all because like where y'all expect people to go right <laughs> we just left the san john wong show it was a really good a lot of metallics and pastels fur it was a lot of fur going on love it it's a lot of blues as well we're blue today um we're on our way to the josie morant mm -hmm. josie morant which is like a pop-up it's like a little pop-up 
thing and then you get a little, little goodie thing. <laughs> yeah, the show was good. Oh, also. <laughs> okay, so when we walked out, the photographers were literally like coming at us like birds to bread. Okay. <laughs> they were going crazy. So hopefully they send me my photos and I can show y'all the photos and stuff. It was so quick. I wanted to like whip my camera out, but it was so fast. They were just like, can I take a picture? Can I take a picture? Can I? Like it was so many different people asking to take pictures. So yeah, hopefully there's some good stuff. Okay, but yeah, we gonna see. Hey y'all, we're back. Yes, we are back in the hotel finally. I'm ready to get in bed. It is 9.13 and I'm tired, okay? <laughs> but I'm gonna put y'all somewhere. Yeah, you see the, the beanie baby? You see the material? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so rundown. We went to Nomo Soho Kitchen with Jasmine. My girl, she's so cute and sweet. Like, uh, and she's hilarious, y'all. Oh my gosh. Um, we have the same team, so that's how we connected. You know we had to spend a little money now. So we went to Zara. <laughs> We went to Zara like literally last minute. Like they closed in 30 minutes. And we was like, let's just go in here and look. I ain't no looking at Zara, okay? They gonna get you every single time. I got this bustier. She is fine. Like look at the freaking asymmetrical neckline. Oh my God. This is about to eat all the way down. You hear me? And then I also got this dress right here, which I felt like this was such a little staple piece really cute for layering or you could just wear it in springtime i just love, really love the buttons how it looks and i love the really thick rib and the gold buttons i'm not doing much tomorrow I just have that sound bath class in the morning which i think is going to be very relaxing The sound bath, like, y'all, it was just too good. Like, it really just got me in the state of, like, calmness, relaxation, like, this, like, it's okay type of, uh, that thing be distracting me every time. Um, it just got me in this, like, really nice state, and I'm like, ugh, I love it. So I just wanted to walk around, take my time and just you know walk into a store if i wanted to you know what i'm saying if i want to buy something i'm gonna buy something if i want to go and look at this like i'm gonna go do it you know what i'm saying like just doing whatever i wanted just floating around soho really um and i had a great time so yeah we have dinner tonight at the rh rooftop so that's pretty much all that's happening today a very chill day nothing exciting going on y'all this thing literally just came off the wall this little plug thing just flew off and it, it was so dusty and nasty. But I'm getting ready to have a pony and I'm gonna do like a little piece down. I think that's how I want my hair. At least I know that's how I want my hair for this photo that I really wanna get. So yeah, I just got the shower, about to do my makeup and then try to get some content. I've been getting content this whole time though. I'm proud of myself because I was actually feeling really frustrated but I was like, you know what, no. You are a bad B. You better get up and make it do what it do. Like, you better finesse the way you know how to finesse. Like, I am a finesser. So what I look like sitting back being frustrated and down and just feeling like I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't do something when I know I can. And I talked about this on a panel that I talked on, um, on last Wednesday and I was just like I sometimes have to motivate my own self I can't draw it from anywhere I don't get it from anywhere it literally comes from right here sometimes you just gotta talk yourself into it to get up and do it and now I have like all this energy my ideas are flowing all just because I got up and started you know I love myself See me ballin' in my bitch ball. My niggas ballin' like I'm rich ball. It's 
Then I finna add it on my lift car All your bitches the Pilates when you get stuck So she can't pop a squat and that's a rip up Keep a CDG, all niggas ripped up <laughs> we just finished eating at RH yes. Rooftop. We want to go try to catch Rihanna's Super Bowl somewhere. So, yes, I know. We cannot miss this. It, um, I need to find out what that place is called. This music is blowing it. <laughs> it was so nice, like was so meeting nice you and connecting you. and just like talking. I know. <laughs> I know you guys. This is insane. Oh my god. Oh. Girl, we going up. Girl, we going up. I know. <laughs> they don't want to separate. I know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh gosh, I, I had such a great time, and because of her, well, girl, amazing, amazing Kayla K. September. Okay. Oh yeah. It again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You heard it here first. <laughs> she coming up as we get like that? September. I will be here. All right, All right girl. Yes. Let me know when you get to your party. Right. And then also, just text me in the morning, like when you are getting ready to go and stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. My girl. I. <sighs> I'm back in my room now. A good time with her y'all like she is just amazing she's amazing she's amazing she's amazing i think that's literally all i can say like i love her energy and i knew i would though because you know we have been connected for so long literally years like she was reminding me how long we have been connected and it's been since like i think she said like 2018 2017 something like that like for so long and this literally the first time we're meeting it's just God sent. Like, I absolutely love those type of connections. It just warms my heart. So I'm definitely gonna miss her. But hopefully we're both in um, New York for September Fashion Week. So let's just hope and pray. All right, so I'm getting ready to pack my bag up a little bit because I check out tomorrow. And okay, y'all, we are back from Fashion Week, y'all. Listen. The grind does not stop there. Your girl has been shooting all day. She been doing all this stuff. But I gotta sit down and close this video out with some tea. With some tea. We gotta give y'all the learning lessons because when y'all go to fashion week, y'all gotta learn from your girl, okay? I had a blast. I had a ball. I loved all the events that I went to. Loved all the people that I met. Like, it was such a great time. I think throughout the trip, I got a little frustrated because I feel like this is just natural. You see other people with like full teams behind them pumping content out and you're struggling to get content, y'all. That was me. I brought a camera. I thought I was really going to be able to get this content out. But being so on the go, it's actually worth it to get someone else to help you. So one of my girls, she actually hired a photographer and she was posting the same day. She would put her outfit on, go shoot with him. He would just send her stuff, like do all the work for her, take the pictures um, and then send them to her. And all she had to do was post it. Because then you also gotta think about it. You are technically supporting a smaller business because a lot of these street photographers sometimes just do it for fun. They don't really work with big companies or anything like that. So if you think about it that way, I feel like it's good and it's worth it because it takes a little bit off of your back. I'm definitely a person that's like, I can handle it all. I'm superwoman. Girl, no you're not. So yeah, that's definitely something I'm going to be doing next time if I do end up going alone again. Also, something else that happened to me that didn't happen last time is brands were sending me Uber codes to take Uber to their events and stuff. So that's another way to save. Um, if you do get invited to branded events, ask them, um, you know, are you guys offering Uber codes to get to the event and stuff like that? Just put yourself out there. Don't be scared to ask questions, okay? Oh, also, y'all, I'm still waiting on my photos from all the street photographers. I've literally gotten none of them, and it's been a week and some change, y'all. I know. Y'all probably like, we thought this was the next day. No, it's been a week and some change. Your girl been busy. But I have still not gotten any of my pictures from the street photographers. So I'm going to be honest, are they even worth stopping for? I don't even know. 
And I'm talking about the ones that be standing outside of shows, just trying to get photos of you and stuff like that. And they promise they're going to send it to you. I gave my Instagram to so many people and I still have not gotten my photos. And that's why y'all haven't seen any photos on Instagram because I don't have any. <laughs> like we got photos um, that one time, but it was so cold that in the photo you could see in my face that I was freezing. And they just weren't good, okay? Like the, the quality was good. I love the way my camera performed. But my face told it all, okay? And you know, when you look at your picture, your face tells it all. I literally looked like I was freezing cold because it was freezing outside. So those were no good, but it was a good experience. And you know, we had fun. If you come across them street photographers, get their Instagram, okay? Get their Instagram. Or when you type your um, Instagram in, follow yourself so that you know where to contact them. Be but yeah, those are some of my learning lessons. It's worth it to hire a photographer. If you don't want to hire a photographer, make sure you get the contact information of the street photographer so you can get your photos. And Uber codes. Try to get an Uber code from the brands that are inviting you to things. If you want any other tips on how to get invited and how to attend events and stuff like that, I covered that in my New York Fashion Week prep video, so make sure y'all watch that. But yes, this was definitely one of my favorite favorite fashion weeks for sure and I feel like they're only going to get better from here I went to some events went to shows like did all these things and I just learned so much like every year I go I learn more on how to finesse how to save money how to get content how to just do everything more efficiently because it's so fast paced like you really gotta take your experiences and learn from them and that's why I'm trying to let y'all know so if it's your first fashion week it's not a complete fail you got some tips under your belt like you you got it you know what I'm saying so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video this vlog and y'all already know your girl is going to fashion week in September so make sure y'all stay tuned for that I love you guys and I will see y'all in my next one